What is going on guys? The Dead Brothers All Gaming with my review of Solder Online Season 2 Episode 18. And this episode, it was actually pretty freaking simple. We had a lot of story building and not that much story progression. But it seems that like that like next week we, we will get a ton we, we will get some action because a, a serious battle will go down between Asuna and this player going by Zekan or Zekin. Which, which, which pretty means absolute sword or a blade. But the episode is so, it starts off with our characters here. They, they are in this house, and we see now, you know, most of them were like doing their, doing their work, except for two. We have Kirita who was like passed out for most of the episode, and I forgot her name. I believe it's like a, a Silica, Simica, whatever her name is. But she is like the youngest character, you know, in the series that, that are, that are, uh, revolved around our main characters and we see now you know she she had passed out first because she was sleeping and and, and she fell over and she was on on asana and we see now that all these characters they were like doing their homework because their winter break will be over in about two two days i think but but we got back to like a flashback and we, and we see now that like kirito and asana they were like they were on this date at uh what's the name agil you know, he he's the uh he the black character in the show. They were like on this day in his bar and we pretty much get like some backstory about him, about you know, how he learned I mean how he met his wife and in uh in the MMO and we actually learned that like she was from America, but I'm guessing, you know, she must have moved to Japan, you know, for him. And we also learned that it it was these two that like, opened opened this bar together and they play games all the time, you know, as a couple. And we see now that both of them were actually gonna go into uh, into uh, into SAO, but they can only get like one nerve gear. And he was the one that went in there. And to this day he said he was still happy, you know, it played out that way. But then we learn more about Asuna as well. And we actually learn now she 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 actually did not care too much for her family because Kirito and, and Agil they have fought so hard to get back to them but uh but but her because she because she she like a family too much she almost forgot she she forgot sometimes why she was fighting and so that right there was surprising. I do want to learn more about that because it is weird how, how she had this so bad at home. But we do see why a little bit in a flashback, but obviously, you know, like they, they, there were no voices, so it's it's kind of, it's kind of hard to it, it's kind of hard to tell what was like going on for sure. But at Gil here, he brings up this update about about LAO and this patch here. It will unlock floors twenty one. No, I believe like I believe like twenty. No, yes, twenty one to thirty. And, and we and we actually learn now that well or, or or as 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 we could recall, Kirito and Asuna they lived on floor twenty two, you know, back in Sao, and now and now with with the with the floors unlocked, they can actually go to their own home. But first, they had to beat this boss, you know, to get there. And we see this boss; it was some kind of like rock golem. And we see now our character, you know, at first they were put they were actually put up a pretty good fight, but this boss was actually pretty challenging so they were struggling a bit but then we have Asuna at one point she actually got pretty serious and I was just so glad about that because like I said like I said in my previous reviews I really hate the fact that like Asuna picked up this like healing role because she was like one of the strongest characters in SAO so why in the world you know was she not fighting to be a healer because that role right there could, that role right there could actually go to someone else and we see now you know like when when uh when she finally joined the battle and you know and got in there, she she was doing pretty well. But like I said, this boss right here, it was tough. And but luckily, you know, before she could get hurt, she had some backup from Sinon, and that right there was like pretty good because obviously, you know, there's no way Asuna could beat the thing, you know, one on one. And so, so, so after she got that backup, Kirito now finally gets in there as well. And both of them, you know, work together. And and when it when they did, you know, that whole switch thing, that right there brought back some memories from from the first season because they, because uh those two worked so well together. And luckily, you know, they they had also you know defeated that boss. So that right there was good. And finally, floor twenty two was unlocked, and they all went up there. And so obviously, Asuna, she was definitely you know like the uh, most exciting one. And and uh, and uh, everybody could tell that. So we have Liz here. She. I told her, you know, to just go on ahead 
and the rest of them will, will take care of activating the portal that will allow them, you know, to go there easily. And so when Asuna and Kirito, you know, flew there, I, I almost forgot that they had wings that can do that because, you know, because because the first time, you know, we had told them there, that right there wasn't the case and they had to walk. But they have flew there and made it there in no time. So that was good at least. And we see now that when, like, Asuna, you know, have, have finally got there, and at first she seemed nervous to buy it, but when she did, you know, she had carry toes and, uh, and and use support. But when they went inside, even though they had their place completely furnished the last time, it was empty. And we see now that, you know, that Asuna was crying, but that because it was just so emotional for her, but but she was finally home because, like she said, Kirito gave her that home. You know, Kirito and you, they had gave her that home, and now she like finally you know has it back. So that right there was like very good to see, and we see now that like after the flashback ends. All of them were like sleeping, so obviously, you know, that, that boss fight, it took a lot out of them. And, and like I said previously, Kirito was, was like sleep for most of the episode, you know, in real time. So obviously, you know, Kirito had a lot going on. But but after after they all woke up with some tea, that right there is, is where we learn about, you know, just like uh, Zekin Warrior, who, 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 who to the point had been, you know, undefeated. And everybody had been, like, trying to challenge them because this guy apparently is, like, offering an original sword skill as a prize. And, and this sword skill right here, it is actually an 11-hit combo. And the highest one so far is it's only 8. And it's by that uh, general guy that, like, Kirito defeated in the very first series. So that right there was, like, definitely interesting to, interesting to learn. And we, and we see now why some... And we see now why all the players are, try, are trying to beat this person. And we even learned that, like, Elizabeth and Leifa, they have also tried to beat this, this warrior, and they couldn't do it. And then, we learned, and then we learned later on that, like, Kirito as well, he had tried, but they, they were saying that, like, Kirito did not, did, did not use, you know, his, uh, his second sword skill, which is why, you know, it's definitely hard to tell if he was serious or not. But if Kirito knew about the sword skill, then I, then I, then I do believe that he probably would have used you know both swords because that right there like definitely valuable especially in a, in a world like an MMO because why wouldn't you want that but I do wish though that that we could have seen that fight but we did learn though you know from Leifa that when, when, that when she went watching Kirito fight she had noticed that you know Kirito was like with a saying something to the warrior but we, we, we don't know what that was and Kirito would not tell her but I do wonder you know like what was it maybe Kirito like knows, knows who it is I'm not really sure but I do wonder you know like what did he say and we did learn now you know like more about the warrior even though you know like we, we don't know his face he 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 is uh I, b I believe he is from the uh, same race as Kirito because he, he has black wings and I think Kirito wings look, look, look exactly the same and, and he has a speed type as well. But this warrior, like, it, it had defeated everybody, which is why he has that name, Absolute Blade, because nobody can beat it. Not even our MC here, you know, can defeat it. But Asuna does want to fight it. And, and, and we definitely will see that next week. So that right there is it, something to look forward to. But we see now, you know, that after the, after they were talking, you know, outside and came back in, we have we have uh, Asuna, you know, asking asking Liz, you know, like if if she thinks that this player was was somebody from from Sao, and and, uh, and we actually learned like Liz asked Kirito the same thing, and Kirito said that right there is impossible because if that right there was the case, then that then that a uh, second source skill. It would it, it would have went to you know that person instead of Kirito, and that right there was shocking. But that right there, like that right there, pretty much covered the episode. Because other than that, like other than that, you know, n nothing really important happened. So overall, the episode was, like mainly set up really, you know, except except for that one bus fight at the end. That right there was it. And so like for the so overall, it, it, it was all right. It was, like decent at best. So I think I'm, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna give the episode you know like a seven out of ten. But of course, I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts on this. And as always, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Because it really helps me out. And you guys take it easy. And I will see you all next time. So it seems that I will have to go back on my word. Because there was one important thing that I did forget. And that right there is when it came to Asuna and Liz. Because I'll tell the episode a few times. Uh, Liz was saying that it is tough to be a rich girl. And that right there was definitely bothering like Asuna. We can tell that something was on her mind. That right there was obvious. 
and we and we, even get, and we even get the flashback, you know, of of how her life has been when, when she went back with her family because we see her now in this kimono and all she did all day was like about the people and and, and then like there, there was this one scene where we had these three guys and, and they like came up on her and we see it for like they were all giving her these like shady creepy looks. And then we see, you know, like some man talking to her, but that right there, you know, like could, could have been her father. And that right there, what the flashback that I mentioned, you know, earlier in my review, and, and I meant to touch up on that, but I do hope that right there will get explained more because because I do wonder, you know, like what 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 is going on, you know, with her life? Because even though this series is focusing more, you know, on the game world, the, these characters obviously go through real world problems. And that right there is something I find, you know, at least interesting, and I, I would love to see more on that. Of course, I don't, I don't want, I don't want to spend, you know, so much time on it. But you know, a little bit here and there won't hurt, which is why I do wonder, you know, like what, what is going on in her home, and, and hopefully, you know, they, they will explain it because obviously they uh, did show for a reason. But that was it. That right there was like one part that that was like very important to me, and and, and I did want to talk about that, even even if it was briefly. But that was it, guys. Take it easy.